In philosophy, theophysics is an approach to cosmology that attempts to reconcile physical cosmology and religious cosmology. It is related to physicotheology, the difference between them being that the aim of physicotheology is to derive theology from physics, whereas that of theophysics is to unify physics and theology. Usage Paul Richard Blum 2002 uses the term in a critique of physicotheology, i.e. the view that arguments for the existence of God can be derived from the existence of the physical world e.g. the argument from design. Theophysics would be the opposite approach, i.e. an approach to the material world informed by the knowledge that it is created by God. Richard H. Popkin 1990 applies the term to the spiritual physics of Cambridge Platonist Henry Moore and his pupil and collaborator Lady Anne Conway, who enthusiastically accepted the new science, but rejected the various forms of materialist mechanism proposed by Descartes, Hobbes and Spinoza to buttress it, as these, Moore and Conway argued, were incapable of explaining productive causality. Instead, Moore and Conway offered what Popkin calls, "...a genuine important alternative to modern mechanistic thought." a thoroughly scientific view with a metaphysics of spirits to make everything operate." Materialist mechanism triumphed, however, and today their spiritual cosmology, as Popkin notes, "...looks very odd indeed." The term has been applied by some philosophers to the system of Immanuel Swedenborg. William Denovan wrote in mind, "...the highest stage of his revelation might be denominated theophysics, or the science of divine purpose in creation." R. M. Wenli 1910 referred to Swedenborg as the Swedish theophysicist. Pierre Leberg 1972 observes that Kant's famous critique of physicotheology in the Critique of Pure Reason 1781, second edition 1787, has tended to obscure the fact that in his early work, General History of Nature and Theory of the Heavens 1755, Kant defended a physicotheology that at the time was startlingly original, but that succeeded only to the extent that it concealed what Leberg terms a theophysics. CEQ Nausa Pellerons und Theophysik. Theophysics is a fundamental concept in the thought of Raymond Panikkar, who wrote in Antinomia de la Ciencia that he was looking for a theological vision of science that is not a metaphysics, but a theophysics. It is not a matter of a physics of God, but rather of the God of the physical, of God the creator of the world not the world as autonomous being, independent and disconnected from God, but rather autonomically linked to Him." As a vision of "...science as theology," it became central to Panikkar's "...cosmotheandric." View of reality, Frank J. Tipler's Omega Point Theory 1994, which identifies concepts from physical cosmology with theistic concepts, is sometimes referred to by the term, although not by Tipler himself. Tipler was an atheist when he wrote The Anthropic Cosmological Principle 1986, co-authored with John D. Barrow, whose many popular books seldom mention theology and The Physics of Immortality 1994, but a Christian when he wrote The Physics of Christianity 2007. In 1989, Wolfhart Pannenberg, a liberal theologian in the continental Protestant tradition, welcomed Tipler's work on cosmology as raising the prospect of a rapprochement between physics and theology in the area of eschatology. In subsequent essays, while not concurring with all the details of Tipler's discussion, Pannenberg has defended the theology of the Omega Point. The term is also occasionally used as a nonce word in parodies or humorous contexts, as by Aldous Huxley in Antic Hay, 1923. Topic. See also. Anthropic principle Fine-tuned universe List of science and religion scholars Multiverse Natural theology Omega point Tipler's Omega point Ultimate fate of the universe Zygon, Journal of Religion and Science <laughs>